Well, hi everyone. This is Dr. Paul Feuerstein, editor in chief of Dentistry Today. I'm at the Chicago Midwinter Meeting. I'm in the booth that is Aspen Dental, and I'm here with a wonderful new dentist, Charlotte Drumy, Dr. Charlotte Drumy. She's a recent graduate and has chosen an interesting career path. And I have some questions for you. We're standing here at Aspen Dental's booth, so obviously you have something to do with Aspen Dental. You grad out of dental school. You were sitting with your friends, and they said, oh my God, I owe like a half a million dollars, a half a billion dollars. What am I going to do? Am I going to open a practice? Am I going to go work for some place? So what was your career path? What was your decision to go to Aspen Dental, for example? Yeah, so my original introduction to Aspen was before dental school. I worked for Aspen as a dental assistant, okay. and that was my original introduction to Aspen Dental, and I really liked what I saw and the opportunities that they offered, and I thought that would be a great start. So you start as an associate in practice? Correct. And I understand that Aspen has a sort of a career path for you, so you're not going to be always the assistant or always the uh, associate, so how does that all work? Yeah, so you start as an associate, you work hand-in-hand, one-on-one training with the owner, doctor of the office. Uh, that was a really good experience, just getting out of dental school and being able to work on the more difficult procedures, having that mentorship opportunity was a big deal. That's and then point. that's how you slowly transition into becoming a leader at the office and then potentially an owner. Oh, so, so, you, so it's not just a dead end. You're not just going to be an associate forever. So you can actually become the practice owner. Yes. And I understand you can actually own more than one practice if you are so desire. You can definitely <laughs> have that opportunity in the future. Yes, Aspen really offers that. So one of the things I know that Aspen does is you have in-house, basically in-house CE training. They have something called Tag U, uh, the Aspen Group University. So how, how has that helped you out here? Yeah, so when I started as an associate doctor, um, they did fly me to Chicago to their Tag University. Uh, we had like CE courses, it was great hands-on experience, and it was all lecture, just meeting other doctors, the clinical support team, other Aspen providers, and it was just a really good experience. So it's like a club, it's like a, like a club. You, see, you can get in touch with other Aspen offices too and find out what are they doing and how are they doing things like that. Yes. I mean, that's a big deal, to have yes. an instant network. The network, the camaraderie, that makes a big difference when you're starting out. And I'm sure they say, you know, we started like you did, but here's what you can do to do this and do that, and that, that makes things yes. really, really great. Yes, learning from others and collaborating together. I mean, I think that's a big deal. So, so people don't understand that you're thinking, this Aspen office, it's not this Aspen office, it's the entire Aspen network. Yes. I think that's just a wonderful, wonderful thing. So, do you have any advice to a dental student or a new grad saying, scratching their heads and saying, mm. you know, what do I do? I, mean, I, I know you want them to look at what you've been doing, and uh, just give a little, give a little of, uh, advice here for a second. Yeah, I would say definitely get good at dentistry, but also seek out those mentorship opportunities because your network and your connections is the pathway to success. You don't ever want to do things solo. You always want to have a network, a group of people that you can always reach out to and collaborate, and that's what makes you a better clinician. Well, as I said, we're here at the Chicago Midwinter Meeting. We're at the end of the row is 1,400 come to the very end. And they actually give us some prizes and things, so you can have a good time here. If Charlotte is here, she'll, yeah, she'll talk to you, tell you some things. There's a lot of other you know, practitioners here that can give you their, their story. And it's just a way to understand what's going on here at Aspen. And, and, and thanks, Charlotte. Thanks so much. Yes, thank you.